Hello friends, in this video I'm going to work again with the Laravel live wire tables and this is because in the previous video I have created the first one and here if you go and search for Laravel live wire tables in the YouTube here is the video I had a comment uh, how you can implement the table row, click the edit and view details within a modal window. So I'm going to use the modal in this video. So here we have, we can edit and go to this page. But now we need, when I click here, to open the modal. For that I have installed the Laravel Jetstream. Okay, because I'm going to use the Jetstream model. And in the documentation of this uh, package, and I want to thank this guy, this has a very good uh, documentation page. We have the models down there. And here's how we can add. So the example is here. We need to create this two properties so copy go here and do that so i'm going to say uh, viewing model is going to be false and if this change is going to show the model okay next we need to say get table url and just return the hashtag okay so i'm going to I'll go down there. Next one is add a custom attribute for the within a wire click. So when we click to the row, we say the view model is going to be. I'm going to add this row ID. Okay, copy this and add it there. Next one, we need to add this one. Copy, implement the model. To, to manage your model so this is changing the view model to true okay and i'm going to add it after this one and the next one is reset the model copy paste here and also we have this at your model markup okay so copy this one and paste it here now here is going to be the uh, model path where, we, where the model is going to be and uh, so for that I have created this model and it's the same thing as this one. So just copy this and paste it here. Okay. Now uh, in the user model, now I, wa I want to say here, just return the model because I am in the welcome plate. So and model is here. And okay, so if I go and refresh, if I click now, we have a possible type of uh, say here, view model. This method is not found. So where is this method? Is here, view model. And we don't have this method, but uh, I think uh, here is maybe a problem with the documentation instead of saying view model we need to say view history model okay so if i copy this and paste it here and add it to this one at we added the row id and we expect it here and also uh, my model is not that but it's going to be user model and find or fail the 
ID we have here. Now if I come here and refresh and click, yeah, we have the model outside, click again, click on done, and yeah. And now in the model, we have this current model, and uh, this is, for example, the user, but if we have the model for, uh, I don't know, uh, products, so we have the product here. I'm going to say, so here first we can say, uh, for example, user model or edit user we can say edit user and then we can say if we have the current current uh, model I'm going to display the current model name and also the current model uh, email. Okay, and close the end if. Come here and refresh. Click here. And we see, we say edit user, and maybe I'm going to cut this and add in the div. The same thing for down there. Or refresh. Yeah, now it's more okay. So here we have the name and the email, and you can add the form there to edit, or if you want just to show the user, it's okay. This one. So this is how we can implement the model. So I I'm going to leave the comment with the this video to this guy. And hope you enjoy and see you in the next one, friends. All the best.